Hello, I'm Paris Arsanjani and welcome to another session of mental and physical health. And if you're new here, please watch the videos that are categorized in the playlist on my channel and I'll be very thankful if you subscribe. And also if you want, you'll make me very happy if you follow me on Telegram channel, Instagram and TikTok as well. So the topic we are talking about today, which I think is really important, is the balance of uh, between mental health and physical health because most of the times we are not told to take care of our mental health all the time while we are growing up we are told that we should take care of our appearance take care of our body which is okay and we need to have that actually but if we don't have mental health besides that it's kind of like a car which uh, one of its wheels is broken so it's basically useless and about the car that i mentioned what i meant is just imagine a normal car and i'm not saying like a very expensive one or a special one just a normal car a new one but for myself i just thought about the front wheels as my uh, physical health and the back heel as my uh, back wheels as my mental health so if the uh, front wheel works but the back wheel doesn't the car is basically useless so it's the same thing with our mental and physical health if we only consider the um, um, physical health and not thinking about the mental health we are going to like uh, cause imbalance in ourselves and the example of uh, the car that i just mentioned is a perfect example for us to consider our mental health besides our physical health and unfortunately a lot of people while growing up were never told to consider their mental health so when you become an adult and when you are completely mature it's really hard to make changes within yourself but it's not an impossible thing so by working hard and by being patient we can achieve anything so at this point we might ask that uh, what are the ways to take care of our mental health and i'm only going to explain the things that help me in my life and work the best for me and also before we get to the ways on how to take care of our mental health we need to admit that it's not going to be easy and also we need to do it every day and every moment so as a child we are told to like eat food every day and take care of our physical health and in order to grow up we need to have lunch and dinner and everything every day but we were never told to take care of our mental health the same way and because sometimes we might just work on ourselves for like one day for just today and we think that we don't need it on tomorrow but that's not true mental health is just as important as physical health and it has to be every day and every moment so the ways that i personally did in my life and helped me a lot i'm um, uh, one of them one of the most important ones are being in present moment and what i mean by that is because most of the times we are either thinking about the past or future and especially in the morning when we wake up the first thing that comes to our mind is something that is not about the present moment which is totally normal but in order to avoid that the easiest way that is recommended is focusing on our breathing and this is actually the same technique that we use in meditation so when we want to do meditation we are told to focus on our breathing because the brain cannot uh, function on multiple things at the same time we cannot focus on different things so when you focus on your breathing it actually helps you to keep your mind in the present moment and when you are present then there is nothing about the past or future that bothers you so this is i think one of the uh, most important things that i would consider uh, for myself uh, the next thing that helped me a lot 
was daily affirmation because normally all of us talk uh, in our mind we have like self-talk which is totally normal but most of the times it's negative so in order to avoid that we can consider daily affirmation and what i mean by that is all the good and positive things that we would uh, for example just consider someone that you really love in your life it can be anyone how would you uh, uh, show your love to them do the same thing towards yourself and the daily affirmations can be for example for myself i would say parisa i love you parisa thank you so much you know the things like that that uh, help your mind to kind of stay away from that negativity and the next thing that actually helped me a lot is feeling grateful and at I understand that we all have weakness and we all have something to achieve and actually I think that uh, in my opinion this is the purpose of life we all are trying to achieve something that we still don't have but uh, feeling grateful for little things can be very helpful for example grateful for my ment uh, for my physical health grateful for just even the smallest thing like the shirt I'm wearing for the uh, place I'm living in the roof I have above my head I don't have to live outside or even just watching this video I have this um, ability to uh, use this video and all the little things that uh, exist in life if we pay attention to those things uh, it can f make us feel like uh, we have so much and this is actually my personal experience I'm not sure about you who is uh, watching this video but for me it was really um, uh, motivating thinking about the little things and sometimes we uh, think that we have to have something uh, big something really valuable in order to feel happy in order in order to feel grateful but in my opinion that's not true because I feel like it's all the little things that can uh, make us feel great and make us um, really uh, deeply feel um, alive and all these ways that I just mentioned should be beside taking care of our physical health it's just the uh, example that I mentioned to you the wheels of the car if either of those wheels don't work the car is basically useless so in order to make balance in within ourselves we need to consider both mental health and physical health and one thing that is very important is never compare yourself to someone if someone is better than me or worse than me and also don't just look at the clock look at the date in your phone thinking that why am i not progressing why is it taking too long because these things will not work and progress always happens slowly so just celebrate yourself just admire yourself for the little things that you make in life and just be patient and don't think about anything else on the outside and just compare yourself with your yesterday not with anything or anyone else so now uh, we are going to talk about the book because in the mental and physical health we always have book introduce introduction uh, so the book i'm introducing today is called girl stop apologizing by rachel hollis is an american author motivational speaker and blogger and the book that i uh, mentioned today is actually um, really helpful i received it um, by chance uh, from one of my friends and i'm actually very grateful that she sent me this book because um, when i received this book i was at my lowest i was literally lost and i felt like um, a, a very weak this is a very important word i was so weak and this book helped me and reminded me about my strength about my values and as you can tell by the name of this book girls stop apologizing i think this is something that a lot of girls and women struggle with 
um, maybe men too, but I feel like mostly women struggle with that. Uh, most of the times we feel embarrassed, we feel like we did something wrong and we have to apologize for the little mistakes. And yes, apology is never bad, but feeling ashamed and blaming yourself is never a good thing. And this book actually reminded about this important thing that I have to think about my values, my power, instead of thinking about my weakness and just continue to blame myself for the stupid things I did because I'm also a human like everyone else. And instead, I should be focusing on my strength. So I feel like and I'm very grateful that my friend sent me this and uh, I hope you guys also enjoy reading this book and this is like one of the best-selling book as well. Alright, so now this is the end of mental and physical health session. If you have any other way that would help mental health, please write down in the comment below. I would love to read your comments and I would like to know if there is any other ways because these are very important things. And as usual, let's not forget to drink water every day. Let's not forget to um, take supplements and in general uh, doing yoga, uh, deep breathing and taking care of our mental and physical health. Let's not forget that. And thank you so much for watching the video with me until now. And I would really appreciate if you share this video with your friends as well. I'll see you all in my next videos. Bye!